today's tutorial is going to be uh, basic uses of Netcat. This is going to be uh, the first in a number of uh, tutorials on Netcat because Netcat uh, has many uses and it's very simple to use. Uh, it's known as the networking Swiss Army knife. Um, and today we're just going to basically show you how to set up a connection. Uh, so I have two windows open. Uh, we're going to pretend that they're separate machines even though they're running on the same machine. Um, and the second window here, I'm going to set up uh, a server for the first comp computer to connect to. Now, to do this, uh, you have to be root on most systems. And I'm going to use NC for Netcat. Uh, depending on your distribution, you might have to type out Netcat, you might have to type NC, and then some distributions allow both, uh, just depending on how it's set up. Uh, so, NC for Netcat. And I'm going to do a L switch, so dash L for listen. And then I'm going to tell it what port I want to listen to. And I can use any free port. And I'm just going to pick 888 because I know my computer is not using that. So I'm going to hit enter. And right now it's just sitting there and it's waiting for a client to connect. So up in this first window, I'm going to connect to the second window, pretending that they're separate machines. So. I'm going to type in NC for Netcat. Now since I'm working on the same machine, I can type localhost and it knows that I'm connecting to my own machine. Um, but normally if you're connecting to another computer, you'd have to type in the IP address, which would be on a local network. It'd be something like 192.168.1 or 0 and then the file number. Um, the way you find that is with the uh, uh, IF config uh, option. Um, which I've gone over in another tutorial. Uh, if you haven't, uh, if you don't know how to use uh, ifconfig, just uh, watch that tutorial. So, but to connect, I'm going to go netcat, and I'm going to go localhost, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, uh, actually, don't have to do that, just do the port number there, and when I hit enter, it doesn't seem like anything happens until I start typing. And as you can see, it's kind of like a little chat client now. You can go back and forth with uh, stuff you're typing. Now, I'm going to start up that client again, but this time I'm going to use the dash E switch. Uh, and what this does is it will execute a file when, uh, or a program when, uh, when the connection is made. So actually, let's before we do before we do any connection, we have to uh, tell it what to connect to or what script to run when it connects. So I'm going to create a script, and I'm going to call it my netcat, and we're going to start it off like any uh, bash script, and it can run it can execute any executable file. It doesn't have to be a bash script, and I'm just going to make a simple one called hello world so now we'll make that executable uh, my netcat. now we can tell the server here when we connect run this command which is my netcat and basically it's going to run that command send the output to the client and then disconnect. So once again we're going to connect same way we did before. We have to hit enter down here to start up the server. And as you can see it connected, ran the script, put the output onto the client's machine and then disconnected. Um, you want to be careful doing this because anything that connects to that port whether it's netcat or not will run that script. So uh, you want to make sure you're not running a script that you don't want someone else to be running. Um, but that's the simple uh, basics of Netcat. We're going to go over more in the future. It's a very useful uh, uh, little application. Uh, for more scripts like this, go to bashscripts.info and I hope you enjoyed this.